and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. It's the first day of my two-week vacation. I'm happy about it. I can rest. I don't have to work. Oh, that's so great. But let's talk about today's video. I had this weird idea to look on my Instagram. I had Instagram since 2013. The same account. Now it's like a bookish account, but it didn't start as one. And I don't think... Maybe I have deleted some pictures, but mostly I haven't. So there are a lot of... There is over a thousand of pictures on my Instagram. And I decided to go like to the beginning and see what books show up there, like what books I've got and haven't read. The th interesting thing is, what I found find interesting, is that my first ever picture on Instagram was a book. It was Latvian edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So it started with a book. That's, I think, is like, not weird, but really interesting. Because then I didn't, there wasn't, I think, this kind of bookish community. Maybe there was, but I didn't know about it. Because it was like, what, seven years ago? That's a long time. But, so I found 10 books that has been kind of on my TBR for a really long time because they are like there on I think 2014 and 2015 mostly so I'm gonna share those books and let's make a challenge I'm gonna read next year so next year I'm gonna read three of these books definitely three that you're gonna vote for the most in the description box no in the comments why the description box? So, if you see a book and you want me to read it, leave a comment with a title. You can leave multiple titles, whatever you want, but yeah, you're gonna decide what I'm reading next year. Three books. I just, just like challenges and decided to make this one a challenge too. Why? Who knows? But yeah, so, I'm just gonna show you the books. I don't know really what they are about, so some I don't know, but yeah, let's just start from the top of the pile. This is the 10 book pile. They all same size. That's what I like too about them. That's interesting. The first on the top is Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell. This one is, I think, like a scary, like horror kind of thing, something to do with dolls, but yeah, that's all I know. Then we have The Understudy by David Nichols. This is the author of One Day. I've seen the movie, read the book, but a really long time ago. So I think this is why I got this one, because of the author. Looks like it's contemporary and has something to do with theater, based on these two, but who knows. Then I have Trust by Mike Bullen. It says Creator of Cold Feet. I don't know what that is. But here is Move On David Nichols. So it's compared to this one. This author, not the book. And I guess it has something to do with two people and a dog because there is a dog, and it's probably a contemporary. Next, I have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Newman. I think this has a mixed reviews, because I've heard some good things, some not so good things, but it's about two teenagers, I think. And that's all I know. I think there is a movie, right? There was a movie, but I haven't seen it. And of course, haven't read the book. But then there's Billy and Me by Joanna Fletcher. Mm, 
YA contemporary romance. That's kind of all. I like the cover, like the colors of the cover. But yep, that's it. Then I have the Potion Diaries by Amy Alward. This is the same author that Zoe Sag co wrote the new book, One for Sorrow, The Magpie Society. But now she's Amy McCullough. I guess this is kind of a fantasy kind of thing or magical something because potions mix one part magic, two parts danger and let it hunt, let the hunt begin. Then The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. Once again, I don't know what this one is about. The Art of Baking Blind by Sarah Vaughan. I guess this has something to do with baking, cooking. By looking at the cover and the title, of course. Then before we met by Lucy Whitehouse. I think this is like a, not a thriller or mystery or something like that. Looks like by the cover, by the destroyed flower, destroyed rose. The most dangerous lies are those closest to home. So yeah, I think it's like, yeah, thriller of the month, it says here. So it's a thriller. And the last is All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. By looking at the back, I saw a year 2082. It's set in New York. I guess it's like a, maybe a sci-fi crime or something like that. This one I remember that my sister gave to me. I didn't buy, buy it myself, so yeah. So that's it for the books. Here are all of them. So you can see. Please leave a comment which one should I read next year. And I will choose, as I said, top three and we'll definitely read those. That will be my mini challenge. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you tomorrow. Bye.